um, around the future of arts fundraising uh, and to meet some new people with some new ideas um, and to, to get some conversations really started. Uh, I really want to take part in this so I can uh, personally uh, explore new ideas that people have got and look at what people's opinions are in what fundraising should be. We just hope to get a conversation started across the sector and really hear opinions from different um, art forms, different sizes of organisations. From today's workshop, I'm hoping to achieve uh, a bit more clarity surrounding uh, some of my ideas that I've been developing through the week on uh, the National Summit School uh, to network with some really interesting people who I'm sure have got some uh, big ideas, but also to bring some of my ideas. And I think it's really important to have today's workshop because actually fundraising is becoming more integral to the art sector. From today, I'm hoping to meet other professionals working in fundraising and then to be able to situate their expertise and insights within broader sector trends. So this event was important to us really because uh, we wanted a chance for the delegates to be able to, to interact and to engage with really respected um, practitioners in the field and uh, highly experienced fundraisers. Um, but when uh, Opera North and Dare came to us and, and said that some of it would be participant-led, so the five Northern Fellows are helping to facilitate the five different sessions. Um, we thought that would be a really nice way of, of hearing you know, the, the delegates' voices themselves. So Arts Council is absolutely aware of the value and importance of public investment in arts and culture and increasingly philanthropy and fundraising is part of that mixed funding model and organisations increasingly are having to diversify their funding and their sources of income and private giving and philanthropy is an increasingly important part of that. Um, that's why Arts Council is committed to equipping um, the leaders of the future with fundraising skills and entrepreneurial skills. It's important to ask these questions and challenge thinking. What impressed me most about this afternoon is just how enthusiastic uh, the conversations that we had and the round tables were uh, and, and, and really a significant amount of insight on behalf of the, 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 the people taking part, uh, both people who been experienced in the arts but also people starting out in their careers really uh, valid interesting points uh, and it was, it was a real pleasure to, 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 to be involved in, in, in this afternoon. So it's been a great experience today it's been really exciting and interesting to see everybody's to hear everybody's views and hopefully it will give the industry some real insight and exciting opportunities to develop further and to um, hopefully some questions that the industry can answer. I thought it was important to have today's workshop because we were putting into practice the knowledge that we've gained over this year's fundraising fellows and we're taking the discussion out um, to the sector as a whole. Um, the influence behind the discussion topics for today were questions that have arisen through discussions that we've had throughout the year of our fellowship. Through these topics we hope to create a picture of what fundraising might look like in the future. What's been really interesting being involved with the fellowship scheme and looking at early career fundraisers is that actually what they bring with them in part is their youth. It's a completely different way of doing things and thinking about things. Now if you're working with development officers who come with that generation, if you can actually listen to how they see the value of experiences, the value of social experiences, I think you'll change the way that you market your market your offer, talk about your offer to a huge range of the next generation of cultural audience. I think today we've had a lot of achievements within the conversations and collaborations that we've had with people around the table. It's been different sized organisations, different art forms and really getting a sense of the kind of whole scene of arts and culture in the UK. What I'm planning to do with what we learned today was really take it back and influence my professional practice at work. We had some really good ideas about how to work through silos and how to improve communication internally and externally, so I'm really going to take that back with me. Mm -hmm.